Well, I'm going to guess that you think, or you, you would agree with this, that the beliefs that you have in mathematics and science are the most justified. After all, you know, the scientist is kind of the gold standard. If a scientist says that somebody else is mistaken, right, we were all like, oh, yeah, of course, then, you know, the scientist says so. Right. Uh, scientists have disagreed with theologians, historians, uh, artists. Right. There's a whole long list. And when you know people disagree with the scientist, <laughs> it's like, well, you got a, a, a at best a tough case to hook because we have this experiment here that that can show you that you're mistaken. Okay. Same thing with the mathematician. Right. We, we give a lot of credibility to the mathematician. When a mathematician tells it, gives us some gives us something in statistics, right? We believe statistical uh, evidence quite quickly. Right? If a new survey comes out where seventy five percent of the people are doing this, well, then they're doing it. Okay. Um, it's kind of hard to imagine these other fields even competing with the scientist and the mathematician. After all, they've got not only do they have empirical evidence, they've got widespread agreement within their own field. But now, if you say this, right, if you do say that you know, the beliefs that you have in mathematics and such are the most justified beliefs you have, uh, here's a question that I have for you. Is the question that I just asked, are the beliefs that you have in mathematics and science the only or the best justified beliefs you have, is that question a question that can be answered either in mathematics or the sciences.